Hey friends, in this lecture, I will try to make everybody acquainted with the concept of plastic design. Now, what's this concept all about? Let us see. For example, I take two kind of systems. My first system is of two bars which are pulled by a force P. And essentially, the Y is the forces acting on these two inclined bars. In my second system, what I do is I take three bars and I connect it by pin supports and I pull it with a force P. Now in this system, as I have two bars, essentially I have six degrees of freedom that we have seen in a previous lecture. And how many number of constraints we have? We have two restraints due to support in this at this point. Two restraints here and two restraints here. So essentially, six restraints. And as we know that if degree of freedom is equal to constraint, we have a statically determinate structure. So this structure is a statically determinate structure. Whereas in this structure, how many degrees of freedom I have? Three degrees of freedom for each bar or rod. And as such, three into three, that is nine degrees of freedom. And how many restraints I have? Two restraints for this support, two restraints for here, two restraints here. So six restraints at here, here, here. Here I have two connections. A connection between this rod and this rod which will give me two restraints more. And a connection of this rod which will give me another two restraints. So essentially I have 10 restraints for this body. So degree of freedom of this body is less than the number of restraints. So essentially this structure is a statically indeterminate structure. Now the whole concept of plastic design comes from this statically indeterminate structure. This essentially means that if we take out some of the restraints Right. If we can eliminate this bar, then this body is in equilibrium. It's fine. Right. It can take in load. And this body is in equilibrium. So this bar is one redundant member I have. Now, the whole concept of plastic design is to take this redundant member to the plastic zone. Right. And essentially, take in more loads. Because... When this member goes to the plastic zone, then these two members are in the elastic zone and can take in more loads. And essentially, this structure will take in more load than this structure. I repeat this concept again. Here in this structure, once I increase this load P, Y at these two bars will increase. And at a point called the yield point, for then or I, I need to do one thing. I need to define the stress strain curve once more this is strain and this is suppose stress now stress is directly proportional to strain up to the point called the yield point wherein if the thing is unloaded there won't be any permanent set and after yield point there will be, will be plastic deformation so before yield point perfectly elastic And after it point, perfectly plastic. Plastic. Now, once I know the stress strain curve, it's very easy to understand now. If we increase the force P, this Y, the stress in this inclined bar, will suppose reach it point. And at this point, we will indicate failure because ending in steel members indicate failure right so essentially this is my ultimate strength for this bar but here what we can do basically is that we can make the redundant member reach this ill point whereas, whereas we can make this two inclined members not reach the ill point so the redundant member once it reaches the ill point it can take in more load and go in the plastic zone. But these two bars will take in more load and still remain in the elastic zone. 
and when these two inclined bars necessarily have their stress to be equal to ith point then we get the p ultimate for this structure so essentially p ultimate for this structure will be greater than this and this i think i should enumerate by a certain example right for example i have the system again and there are three bars here and it's loaded by a force suppose p now the force in this bar is y in the inclined bars is y and y as is symmetrical and this is x and the angle between the inclined and the vertical bar is alpha now from the condition of equilibrium we have y is equal to x sorry p is equal to y plus uh, sorry x plus 2y cos alpha this is my number one equation and from the second equation which i derive which i have to derive from deformation because this is a statically indeterminate structure so one cannot solve x and y from this equation only so another equation is required which will essentially give me the distribution of forces in various members and so this equa equation is basically known as the compatibility or the deformation equation now if with this force p if this body is not rigid then essentially this members will deform and suppose this o comes to this point o dash right now essentially due to this deformation this vertical member which is of original length l